What's up, everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you a tool called MuseScore and how you can use MuseScore to learn music, make music, connect with other people, and do all kinds of other awesome things. So, here we go. All right, I am at Google. Oh, what do you know? I've already been to MuseScore, so I just click this. Otherwise, you could go to MuseScore.com. Once you're here, you will notice two of the basic features of MuseScore. One is you can find sheet music or you can create your own. We will come back to this. We will create our own in a minute. So I'm going to choose Pokemon because Pokemon are amazing. And then I'm going to go, ooh, Pokemon Kanto music. So Kanto is the original composer, in case you didn't know. And then I can listen to it. I can preview it like this. I could do that forever but yeah so there we go there is a preview of it and we can see it in score format and then if we go over here to download we can see the different options so you can download it in a MuseScore score format so more on that later when we actually do MuseScore, score the program not just the website and database we could do pdfs so those would be probably the best thing if you're going to like pass this music out to some of your friends and play it for solo an ensemble or for fun or a concert or something and then you could do PDF including parts, so that'll do the score and the parts, which actually might be more practical for you in that case. Uh, music XML, that's, eh, we'll talk about that later. MIDI is very important. We want MIDI very much. And then MP3 is if you just want to listen to this recording. Generally, you probably don't, unless someone did like a, actually like a really great arrangement in MuseScore, then you would want to download the MP3. Um, but MIDI is what we want. So. I'm gonna download this, I'm gonna click on that. Um, cool, so I log in, the MIDI downloads, and now I'm ready to go to Soundtrap. So Soundtrap is an awesome website and piece of online software. And it is a online music making studio. And it is amazing. So here I am, I'm in Soundtrap. If you don't know what Soundtrap is, you can click this video to get a demo of all the things you can do in Soundtrap. So click this if you don't know what Soundtrap is. If you are just hooked already and you wanna do it and you wanna learn how to make a Soundtrap account, click this video. It's pretty easy, but just click this and it'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I am in Soundtrap. I click Enter Studio. I have already downloaded my MIDI. I hit blank and then I can do Import File. And then I can go to downloads. What is that? Pokemon something, 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 something. I guess I could just type this in, but whatever. Pokemon Kanto Music. Boom. Click enter. Oh my gosh, it just loads it seamlessly. Thank you, Soundtrap. I love you. Sweet. And then from there, I could spend hours and hours going through, clicking, I can click this button, and then I can go in and change the instrument. Look at all these options. So many options. I could change it to, hmm, I don't know, flute. Let's see what that sounds like. Solo this. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, I can play around in here endlessly now that I have uploaded this arrangement and there are many more soundtrap videos on the YouTube page and in the Odo Sound online classroom so head on over there and check out more in depth what you can do with soundtrap so that's it for part 1 of Muse Score this shows you how you can find music easily download it in different formats and then download it in MIDI and put it into Soundtrap and start
having fun and creating and taking over the world. In part two, I'll show you what the MuseScore application is and what you can do with that and a little bit on how to use it. Have fun. Bye.